first what I've been doing, man. Really just picking up and back to the spot. I think it is too. Yeah. Shout out TCU. You know what I'm talking about? It did their thing. Um, right now, I'm about to just go pull up. 3 30. They said about 4 o'clock. 4 30. Um, they should be ready for me, so getting what I need, then we gonna roll out. I'm only about seven miles away, seven, eight miles away from the stadium. But I like to give them enough time that when I pull up, I'm just ready to go. I don't gotta wait for them to get everything done. Another football game. On. When I pull up, I just wanna be ready to go. I don't feel like waiting, so I give them enough time. He said four, four thirty. Got plenty of time. Make sure I got that key on deck. Yeah, we good, we good. It's a little situation, you know. It ain't it ain't five star, but we all right, we all right. Nice weather out here. Quiet. I'm just thinking that where I'm gonna park the truck and trailer at. That's the thing. Because I seen a, well, if I can't park it over here, I see a lot right there that I'm gonna park it at. I'm gonna park it right there outside my window so I'll be able to see it. But I think I'll be able to get a spot. As long as I get back before, you know, it get crowded. Y'all know how Saturday nights and Friday nights be at hotel, motel. You know what I'm talking about? Yeah, a lot of people doing shit they shouldn't be doing. With people that they shouldn't be doing. But yeah, know how it go. But hopefully it don't get too crowded by the time I get back and I'm able to park at. Um, that should be cool. See Cranberry over there in the cut. She chilling. Yeah, I got all this space right here. So I think when I come back, hopefully when I come back, I'll be able to take up all this spot with my trailer. Yep, at the location, location, as you see, TCU Stadium right there. The trailer I need is somewhere down there. You see that FS trailer? I'm parked like behind it. Um, So I just got to wait, man. Like I said, I try to get here around the time where they finish. And the way it's looking, they not nowhere near finished, bro. You know what I mean? So... It's how it gotta be. A little waiting time, waiting game. It happened. Oh yeah, it happened. So today's what? Saturday. I got here Thursday. I made the delivery. Thursday, right? So I get here. Let me show y'all exactly the, the the maneuver I had to make because I'm parked in the exact location. You see this ramp right here? I had to pull forward in there, then back up on back to back there, right? So I see that dump truck wasn't there before, right? That dump truck wasn't there. So I had to back up, lined up. Not a tough maneuver at all. Y'all see that? Y'all drivers, y'all know that ain't nothing. A little blind side for the most part, but it's cool. So I did that. Everything was smooth with it, you know, backed up. They needed me to keep moving the trailer over, over to get it lined up perfectly. It has to be lined up perfectly so they could... It could be close enough to the other trailer so they could run the wires and everything like that. So, I did that. No problem. Disconnect. You know, put the landing gear down. Everything you're supposed to do, did that. Pull off. Drop the trailer. Everything good. Um, My truck don't got the air dumps on it. So, you know, when it ain't got the air dumps on it, after you um pull off from a trailer, you have to wait for the, the axle to um level up with the air right so i'm sitting there waiting the axle going down the air building up and everything like that boom scared off i stopped right here where i'm at but facing this way right so i pulled out and i was facing this way so i'm sitting there um booking my hotel room looking up some other things you know taking my time ain't in a rush i got all the time you know so i'm taking my time so i made up my mind like i right, cool found some food Skate off. Let's go get the food. I pull out. Everything sound good. Pull out. Then I hit the corner. Turn right. And I heard some noise that was so weird, dog. It, it reminded me of when um one of my rear ends went out. That's what I'm thinking. So I'm thinking, damn, rear went, rear, the rear end went out before. So I'm thinking, damn, either the other one going out now or transmission problem. Oh, yeah, that's what I'm thinking. So I'm like, oh, man. So I turned down. The music I was listening to with my headset. And then I drive a little bit more. I heard it again. I said, nah. So I pull over to the side. Right outside the stadium, but on the on the street, on the main street. So I get out, pop the hood. I don't see nothing. I'm like, damn, what the hell ain't that going on? I don't see no leaking. I don't see none of that. Nothing ain't dragging. Because that's what the sound sounded like. It sounded like something was dragging. So I walk to the back of the trailer. 
not the back of the trailer. I walk to the back of the tractor. This is what I see. I'm trying to figure out, like, yo, how, what did the maneuver I did create this to happen? You know, like, it could have happened anywhere at any time. It happened right after I dropped my trailer. I'm scratching my head. I'm trying to figure out, like, yo, how is this even possible, bro? How did this happen at this point in time? And I will say, listen, bro, I don't know who it is you pray to. I don't know who it is you worship. I don't know if you have any spiritual beliefs or not. But you need to believe in somebody, bro. Because just think about it. Your boy been running the roads, different football stadiums for, what, going on four weeks now? Five weeks or something like that. I don't know. But I've been all over, on all kind of interstates, as y'all do too. That could have happened anytime, anywhere. The powers that be, the people, the person that I believe in, the spirits that I believe in, the power that I believe in, decided to be like, you know what, we're going to make him have his delivery, everything smooth. We ain't going to mess up the money and everything. Hold up, let me see what he's talking about. Huh? You need a back end? Gotcha. Yeah, I just had to move up a dude so he could back on there. He had like a little car trailer with TCU logo all over it. I don't know for band equipment or whatever. I don't know. But um, yeah, man, when 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 things gonna happen, when things supposed to happen, it's gonna happen. I just I'm just glad that it happened at a time where. I wasn't going 45 to 70 miles an hour. I literally was going about 5 miles an hour when it happened. And and no other damage. So, KB, how, how you got out that situation, bro? How, what did you do? Tow truck? All that? That's what I was thinking, right? I was thinking I'm going to need a tow truck. So, I sit there, go through my Rolodex. Oh, yeah. Make sure you have a Rolodex. So, I go through the Rolodex, try and figure out who can I call. Because this was about... 4.30-ish. So, you know, most shops closing about 5 o'clock. You know, it was about 4.30-ish around that time. So, spoke to a couple people. Spoke to one that was willing to come out. And this was kind of made me realize that I can't use this shop. First of all, the customer service was terrible. Shorty was on the phone. She, she, you know, like I said, 4.35. So, she's getting ready to change shifts. It's a 24-hour shop. But it's getting ready. She's getting ready to change shifts. So she was acting a little Russian, you know what I mean? Rushing the situation, taking information, everything. That she sent over a text with an agreement. um, A text with an agreement that she wanted me to sign to send back to her. Reading the agreement, I ain't like how it was signed. I ain't never, I ain't never had a shop to where they want to send you an agreement over text saying that we okay to do the work. You know, so that made me feel like they're going to do all type of unauthorized work and bill you something crazy. So I have to curve her. And I curved her. It ain't happening. You're not going to make me sign something to where you tell me this was wrong, this was wrong, this was wrong. You agree with it, so we did it. Not happening. So she got curved. Then, um, you know, powers that be was like, listen, call this number. Call the number. My boy Lewis picked up. Shout out to Lewis. I told you I'm going to shout you out, dog. He doing his thing. Independent. He just got all the knowledge of transmission, rear ends, drive axles, everything. So he pulled up on me in like 45 to an hour. Pulled up on me. Um, pretty much took the drive shaft off. He tried to do it right there and then, but he didn't have the the U joint, the U bolt. He said it needed another U joint, U bolt, whatever, one of the two. Um, so he was like, he gonna come back in the morning. So he came back 9 a.m. Friday morning. So I had to sit outside, sit in the truck, um, outside the stadium, and he did everything right there on the spot. For the low, low. Not for the high, but for the low, all right? No tow truck. Because you know tow truck, it could be you being towed for two miles, you're going to end up dropping about 500, 600. Ain't no question about it. No question about it. So he done fix everything right there on the spot. Him and his two homies, he's just letting me know this is what he do, all right? Hustle off the muscle. No shot, no none of that, but he got all the knowledge. You dig? So, of course, his number's on my phone, you know? Every time I'm in Dallas. Texas area. It don't gotta be Dallas. He said, shit, as long as you're in Texas, he's gonna find a way to pull up. You know, so I was fixed in less than 24 hours. Yeah, less than 24 hours, back up and running. Broke down to Texas, 
fixed, no tow truck, no none of that. You just got to know how to talk to people, man, and believe in something. Hey, if you're an atheist, dog, it is what it is, all right? I'm not, I'm not, you, you believe what you want to believe, all right? But the power or the energy that you put out, it's going to come back for you, all right? Tenfold. So if you ask what you expect, you know? <laughs> Things ain't gonna work out of your favor. This is what I believe. Don't knock me for you know for me believing what I believe. You know, so I'm just sitting here waiting. Got situation rectified very very fast. Um, everything look good back there. You know, so as soon as they unload, we gonna hook up. But I was broke down in Texas. <laughs> yeah yeah, we all hooked up. Had a little, little maneuver. Nothing too crazy. But they had all this stuff right here. When I delivered it, none of this was here. So it made it a little tight. Especially that. That wasn't there either. So we good, man. Back to the room we go. Nice experience on this one. Even with the breakdown. But such is life. <laughs> As y'all know, I appreciate y'all for coming through rocking with your boy. I am KB the Trucker, the voice of the streets. And this is what we do. Give you real life in depth experiences that you ain't seen nowhere else. So if you're not subscribed to the channel, make sure you subscribe to the channel as I do my pre trip before I ride out. I'm gonna highlight y'all at the next one. You did one time.